The rise and looting continue in the U.S. On the other side of the ocean, Russia, China, Turkey, and Iran are celebrating this collapse of America. Undoubtedly, these authoritarian regimes are using the current crisis in the U.S. to achieve their own gains. So, what exactly are Russia, China, Turkey, and Iran doing while America is busy dealing with its own problems? Let's find out. Welcome to this episode of your report. My name is Xiao Yu. Before we start, if you're interested in learning more about current events around the globe, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out every week. Let's begin. After the end of the Cold War in 1989, the U.S. certainly became the world's most powerful country, the only and real superpower. However, 30 years later today, Russia, China, Iran, and eventually Turkey all expected the day when the planet will once again become multipolar. And these countries have been working together closely, participating in global events and shunning the U.S. Now, all of these countries have well-established state media's in the U.S. with huge fundings from their governments. Russia has RT, China has Global Times, CGTN, and Iran has Fox News. Although these media outlets claim that they are just plain news agencies doing news reporting. Part of their job is clearly to gradually undermine the U.S. and waiting for the right moment to push their agenda. The irony is overwhelming. Just weeks ago, Washington was preaching to everyone about how sacred protests are. The United States is gravely concerned by the deepening political unrest and violence in Hong Kong, including the standoffs between protesters and police. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that, "Thank God, things that happen in America do not happen in Russia." A Russia's famous senator. Alexei Pushkov asserted that the U.S. is crumbling. He said before the COVID-19 pandemic and the protests that the U.S. withdrawals from Afghanistan and Syria and its betrayal on Kurdish allies was an example of American decline. In China, the nation's state media says the U.S. can now enjoy protests after criticizing China's handling of the riots in Hong Kong. The Chinese media also mentioned that America's way of handling the protests showed its double standard and hypocrisy. So what are China and Russia doing right now, while the U.S. is busy dealing with the pandemic and riots? China has restarted its border dispute with India, sunk another Vietnamese fishing boat in the South China Sea, and Russia has yet again sent its air force to the Middle East. While things certainly need to be changed in the U.S., but if it does not fix its problems soon enough, we might see a change of world order. That's it for this report. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the content, drop a like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next report. Stay safe.